what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video today I'm doing another workout video and as you can see no face cam today and a little bit different audio quality uh, the reason is I am not home at the moment but I wanted to bring you guys a workout video um, so I'm really sorry I really want to keep the consistency of the face cam and a nice microphone but since I'm not home it is really hard for me to do and um, yeah, next one will definitely be a normal, normal one. But uh, today we did chest, and I just showed you guys the first set of bench press. I did five um, by five. So the second day of chest, I do uh, more of a strength program um, instead of hypertrophy, um, just so I can get my strength on um, and up as well. Um, so I decided to do five sets, and this the one you're watching right now is the fifth set with I think it's 70 kilos, which is um, obviously not that much but you guys know I'm building it up again so um, but I decided to do a drop set twice so I went uh, from 25 on each side to 20 on each side to uh, 10 on each side and did five reps on the first two drop sets and in the last drop set I just went to failure so um, yeah I really wanted to switch it up with this one as well um, I like to do drop sets, I like to do supersets and it's always very good to incorporate drop sets into your workouts one way or the other. And obviously with bench press, the first exercise we did today is bench press, so it was very doable for me as I had a lot of strength left. So as you can see, uh, I'm just ripping the plates off and then going back into it straight away. If you don't know what a drop set is, basically when you do a set, drop the weight and do this another set immediately after so you have no rest period uh, and this is this can be very hard but obviously you drop some weight so it makes it a lot easier but you completely burn out that one muscle you're working on um, and by going to failure you're pretty much burned out after that set uh, all right so then we move on to some incline dumbbell presses and um, excuse me for the incredibly lame angle, um, but yeah, this will do for now. Uh, the next set is going to be a little bit better. But I decided to do five sets as well with five repetitions. I might on some sets do six or seven because um, I started off with a little bit of a lighter weight, so it was fairly easy for me, uh, so I might have done six or seven. Um, usually I just do five, but since it was so easy, you know, sometimes I just decide to um, save those two reps for another set. But sometimes I feel like, yeah, whatever, I, this feel, set feels good, I feel the contraction really well, so I might as well do some more, uh, some more reps, right? So 5x5, five five, uh, more focused on strength. I go up in weight every single set, or at least I try to, and I think I got it today, so uh, that was very good. Um, this, I, th I think, is 30 kilos, which is approximately 75s, I think. Or not, wait, that's so much, no, it's like 65s, maybe 70s, I don't know, um, but it's 30 kilo, um, so convert it, calculate it to pounds if you want to, uh, but as you can see, uh, I lift up my head when I do these, for some reason, this is so bad for my neck, guys, and I just, can't, I can't help myself, I do it every single time, um, see here, I'm li lifting up my neck, my neck's a lot of pressure now, uh, which is definitely not good for me, but i at the same time, I feel it better in my chest because I feel like I stretch it better or something. I don't know. But yeah, regardless, it was a good uh, five sets with five pretty clean reps at the end. So I was quite, uh, quite excited with that. Uh, then we move on to um, the hammer strength machine. As you guys can see, I did um, underhand grip first and then we switch over to the normal hand grip uh, as well. It's kind of a super set, so I did five reps with underhand and then five with the overhand grip and then I did that four sets so in total um, you could say ten reps per set um, which consists of two different exercises so it's kind of a superset um, but kind of not you know uh, but it was very good as well um, went up in weight every single time as well and that felt really really good with that one I really wanted to concentrate on the contraction instead of the stretch um, with stretch by the way, we want to concentrate on stretch with the flies. So make sure your chest is stretched all the way um, uh, when you do this exercise and you contract um, at the end as always. Uh, with this one, keep your, uh, um, keep your arms in the same position, the same angle throughout the whole movement. That way you, just with the reverse cable crossovers uh, for rear delts, you do this for your chest and you want to keep the tension on your chest the whole time. So when you do that, uh, you get the best you know, feel in the chest um, that way with the angled arms. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry for the no face cam and, and a little bit worse audio than usual. But I hope you enjoyed this workout regardless. I'm going to put this workout in the description. You guys have been asking me for that. So I'm going to do that right now. And um, yeah, check the description if you want to do this workout. Let me know guys, what you guys think. If you can leave a rating on this video, that would be highly appreciated. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Deuces.